Good evening, dear sisters and brothers in Christ. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see our God. The secret of the Lord is this, their soul is Christ's abode. The Lord who left the heavens our life and peace to bring, to dwell in lowliness with men, their pattern and their king. Still to the lowly soul, he does himself impart, and for his dwelling and his throne chooses the pure in heart. Lord, we thy presence seek, may ours this blessing be. Give us a pure and lowly heart, a temple fit for thee. Antiphon 1 I will make, make you, you the light of the nations, the nations to bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tashish and the sea coast shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all, thing, all kings shall fall prostrate. All nations shall serve him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will make, make you, you the, the light, light of, of the nations, nations to bring my, my salvation, salvation to, to the ends of the earth. Antiphon 2 The Lord, Lord will, will save, save the, the poor. poor. From the oppression, oppression he will rescue, rescue their, their lives. lives. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. To him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May, from, uh, may the gold of Shiva be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May man flourish in the cities 
like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders, ever blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord, the Lord will, will save, save the, the poor, poor from, from oppression. oppression. He will rescue, rescue their, their lives. lives. Antiphon 3 Victory, Victory and empire, empire have, have now been, been won, won by our God. God. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. For they loved not their lives even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Victory and empire have, have now, now been won, won by our, our God. God. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. You have been obedient to the truth and purified your souls until you can love like brothers in sincerity. Let your love for each other be real and from the heart, your new birth was not from any mortal seed, but from the everlasting word of the living and eternal God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Antiphon, the Lord, Lord has satisfied, satisfied and, and filled with good, good things, things those who hungered for, for justice. justice. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy His name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear Him. He puts forth His arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. 
he casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has satisfied and filled with good things those who hungered for justice. Let us lift up our hearts in thankfulness to God our Father, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual gift. Lord, bless your people. Father, look on the Pope, our bishops and all Christian leaders. Sustain their faith, their love, and their courage. Lord, bless your people. Almighty God, we pray for our country. May it promote justice and brotherhood in the world. Lord, bless your people. We pray for all who live the Christian life. Father, look on them with kindness and see in them the face of your beloved Son. Lord, bless your people. Remember those who have consecrated themselves to serve you in the religious life. Enrich them in their poverty, love them in their chastity, lighten their hearts in obedience to you. Lord, bless your people. Give rest to those who have died in Christ. For with you there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Lord, bless your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We beseech your mercy, Lord, as we offer you this evening praise. Keep our hearts always engaged in meditating on your law and grant us the light and reward of eternal life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us continue to praise the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Hark the loud celestial hymn, angel choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim, in unceasing chorus praising, fill the heavens with sweet Accord, holy, holy, holy Lord, fill the hands with sweet accord, holy, holy, holy Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, God invites us to enter into a relationship with Him. A relationship that refreshes, a relationship that restores, a relationship that makes us trust for the times that we have hardened our hearts with lack of gratitude, let us ask for pardon and mercy as we celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and my words, words in what, what I have done. done in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, blessed, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the various intentions of our hearts, and the intentions that we pray today, on this dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major, let us remember the Mother Church and all of us for call to enter into this loving relationship with God. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we, who cannot please you by our own deeds, may be saved through the intercession of the Mother of your Son in our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The sons of Israel the whole community arrived in the first month and the desert of Zin. The people settled at Kadesh. It was there that Miriam died and was buried. There was no water for the community, and they were all united against Moses and Aaron. The people challenged Moses, We would rather have died. They said, As our brothers died before the Lord, why did you bring the assembly of the Lord into this wilderness? 
only to let us die here, ourselves and our cattle. Why did you lead us out of Egypt, only to bring us to this wretched place? It is a place unfit for sowing. It has no figs, no wines, no propagates, and there is not even water to drink. Leaving the assembly, Moses and Aaron went to the door of the tent of meeting. They threw themselves face downward on the ground, and the glory of the God appeared to them. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Take the branch and call the community together, you and your brother Aaron. Then, in full view of them, order this rock to give water. You will make water flow for them out of the rock, and provide drink for the community and their cattle. Moses took up the branch from before the Lord, as he had directed him. Then Moses and Aaron called the assembly together in front of the rock and addressed them. Listen now, you rebels! Shall we make water gush from this rock for you? And Moses raised his hand and struck the rock twice with the branch. Water gushed in abundance, and the community drank, and their cattle too. Then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, "Because you did not believe that I could proclaim my holiness in the eyes of the sons of Israel, you shall not lead this assembly into the land I am giving them. These are the waters of Meribah, where the sons of Israel challenged the Lord, and He proclaimed His holiness." The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the Rock who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks with songs. Let us hail the Lord. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for He is our God, and we, the people who belong to His pasture, the flock that is led by His hand. Oh, that today you would listen to His voice. Harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to His voice. Harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is faithful in all His works and loving in all His deeds. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi. He put this question to his disciples. Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say he is John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up. You are the Christ, he said, son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, you are a happy man. Because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. Then he gave the disciples strict orders not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. From that time, Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes, to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said. This must not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my path, because the way you think is not God's ways, but men's. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Dear friends, as we look at the responsible psalm today, it reminds us not to harden our hearts. If you look at the readings of today, there are quite a number of times that this word rock is mentioned. And again, whenever you harden your heart, is associated with rock, which is hard. And this brought me to some reflection on this hardness of a rock. The question is, why sometimes do we harden our hearts? Because, dear friends, our experiences of life takes us into two different directions. Some of our experiences that we encounter leads us to a time of anger, lead us to frustration, lead us to not being able to dictate what we want. And those negative experiences of life sometimes hardens us. And even to the extent that we are unable to trust people who are very, very close to us. And those members can also be from our own families. The same family which grew together in love, after being nurtured with so much of love, care and concern, after a certain stage of our lives, we find very difficult to stay with that person in the same house, even it is our parents, or even it is our children. 
And that is the same way, dear friends, how the people of Israel experience whenever they were so focused on themselves. As you see the first reading from the book of Numbers today, those experiences that they have gone through did not lead them to see the magnificence of God, but because they were so focused on themselves, of their experiences of negativity, of what they have lost, they continue to harden their hearts, noble gaze on their problems, and that led them to being drifted away from what God wants of them. And sometimes, dear friends, as you look at the first reading of today, even the rock that was there, which was able later to gush out water, they were unable to see. Because, dear friends, those anger, those frustrations, those negative aspects of our lives continue to blind us, harden our hearts, and does not make us see with our spiritual eyesight. But on the other hand, if we allow that same heart not to be hardened, but till the soil of that heart with gratitude, with thanksgiving, then we'll see how we are able to use the same experiences, even though difficult it may be, to gush out that living water that is expressed in the first reading. And for that, dear friends, we need to grow in a relationship with Jesus. We need to allow Jesus to take root in our lives and give us the spiritual eyesight of the blessings and the thanksgiving in Christ so that we are able to use those experiences to build our faith, to make us trust more, and to grow in our relationship with Jesus. So these are the two aspects. One is this aspect of ingratitude. The, aspect, the other aspect is the aspect of being grateful. And in the same way, we go through this in every moment of our lives. And sometimes, dear friends, even though we may be thankful and grateful at some moments of our lives, we fall into the same situations of how Peter was experiencing in today's gospel. Or like the people at Massa. Because we are not perfect. But we need to be reminded again and again that we should not allow that to happen. Because the response of Psalm says today, Oh, that today you will listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. So dear friends, if you allow the word of God to transform and mold our hardened hearts, then we need to remember that we need to grow in that relationship so that our hearts is not hardened. And as we celebrate the dedication of Mary Basilica of Mary Major today, we are also reminded that the church is also a place where people have become hurt, people who have become hardened in their hearts. But the church is, has also been a place where people have found solace, people have found love, people have also found a sense of belonging. So today we pray. We pray that we as individuals who go through these experiences of our lives each and every moment, that we will move from this aspect of ingratitude to this aspect of gratitude so that we can truly acknowledge who Jesus is in our lives. And let us pray that we may be able to witness that faith as we build the church and allow Jesus to tell us that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church. A rock that is full of firm foundation rooted in Christ himself and not filled with ingratitude but filled with gratitude for the loving relationship that he has given to us. Because God leads us into a deeper relationship with him because he loved us first. And let us pray for this grace that our hearts may not be hardened but that we may be able to listen to his voice.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of these spiritual sacrifices, make us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Sebastian our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In the experiences of our lives, which has caused us to harden our hearts and to be rock, to be solid like rock. Let us pray in confidence that the Lord may continue to strike that rock and allow the waters of living water to flow. Our Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On Tuesday, we told his pecata mundi, miserere nobis. On Tuesday, we told his pecata mundi. Miserere nobis. On Tuesday, we told his pecata mundi. Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You have given us, O Lord, bread from heaven, endowed with all delights and sweetness in every taste. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a pleasant evening. We will walk with each other, we will walk side by side. We will walk with each other, we will walk side by side. And we'll guard each man's dignity and save each man's pride. And they know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they know we are Christians by our love. And they know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they know we are Christians by our love.